5.30, a poor St. Lucie man is behind bars tonight for nearly killing his dog and threatening to harm his girlfriend. Megan McRoberts, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, reports the abuse was sparked by the puppy doing what puppies normally do. Veterinarians at Kindness Animal Hospital say this one-year-old English bulldog puppy, Scrappy, has made a lot of progress in the last day. You couldn't even see his eyes. His head was just so swollen. Healing after police say he was viciously abused by his owner, 24-year-old Kyle Romaine Hall. He was pretty much comatose. Police say Hall beat Scrappy over the head with an illegal sawed-off shotgun. Then, when the dog started to howl, tied him up in a bathtub and tried to drown him, all for chewing up some items and using the bathroom in Side. I mean, he wouldn't hurt a fly. And uh, just to take this abuse for, you know, just doing what puppies do. Police say Hall's girlfriend tried to stop him, but Scrappy's cries only made him more mad. He went and grabbed the knife and started threatening her. Today, Animal Control also took one other bulldog from the home to make sure it was healthy and hadn't also been abused. The vets determined he hadn't been harmed and returned him to Hall's girlfriend. But that won't be the case for Scrappy. Scrappy Doodle. <laughs> the veterinarians say the loving, friendly pup will find a new home, likely with one of the vet techs. He'll be fine. Knowing recovery will be a long road, but he'll be in much safer hands. Now, depending on when Hall is released from jail, police say that second dog could also be removed from the home if it is still living at Hall's home with his girlfriend. In Port St. Lucie, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.